Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video, and today, we are here to finally play a game that just came to PC. Yes, it's our good friend, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. And, um, so, this came on PS4, like, a year ago, and it's finally made its debut on PC. So, I'm kind of looking forward to this. I have to edit that out. God fucking damn it. Why would you open on that screen? Fuck me. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! As everyone knows. Everyone fucking knows, man. And I just want to get through the story. And this game... Actually, I actually bought a bunch of DLC as well. Like, we got a... Uh, oh, wait. That's, that's not the pop-up I want. I bought a bunch of DLC that we'll, want, we'll run into as we go through this. We got Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds, Yu-Gi-Oh Zaxel, and Yu-Gi-Oh Arc 5. And we're going to go through every single one of these. So we're going to start with Yu-Gi-Oh, make our way down, just kind of go through it. Okay, so we got Yu-Gi vs. Joey, Kaiba, Weevil, Mai, Su Mako Tsunami, Rex, Bakura, that fucking guy. I don't remember what his, what his name is, but he's kind of creepy. Play as Kaiba against Yugi. Tay against Mai. Mai. And then Bandit Keith. Joey. Pegasus. Oh, that's the fucking Exodia guy. Oh god, the weird Dark Magician guy. Oh god, you. I don't remember what your fucking name is, but I hate you. You are really creepy when I was a kid. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll get through all this soon. For now, we're just gonna go through Duelist Kingdom and see how it goes. Loading Yu-Gi-Oh! Histories The story of Yu-Gi-Oh! Moto starts in the Domino High School where Duel Monsters, the hottest new card game in the world, was all the rage. Yu-Gi is the best duelist around and his, his friend Joey desperately wants to get into learning how to duel as well. So in, our, in our history of yu gi it starts with Yu-Gi teaching the basics of uh, Duel Monsters to Joey as their friends Tay and Tristan watch. Hey Joey, Earth to Joey, it's your turn. Uh. Aw, oh, isn't he cute when he's thinking? Hey Tristan, Yugi's trying to teach me how to, how to play Duel Monsters. Drooling Monsters? Duel Monsters, you nimrod. They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. Okay, Yugi, it's time to duel. I like how we immediately get a Dragon Knight fucking... That's... That's, that's unique. Wow, what a stirring intro. Infinite. Infinite. Infinite? Sure can spin the tail. Greetings, duelist. I am Infnate. Infmate. Part of the dueling uh, game simulator. We've been programmed to feature you various different techniques. We'll start getting off whether through the basics and through this uh, scenario, we'll be taking the role of legendary duelist, Yugi Moto, facing off against his nice, quite legendary Joey Wheeler. This is a hell of a good hand. This is not at all the cards that, that Yuki uses, though. But sure, uh, we're, I'm just gonna skip through all this because uh, we already know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, you want me to set it, of course. Because we're gonna go defensive because it has fucking 2,000 uh, defense and then 1,000 attack. Holy shit, why does Joey have an 1850? Joey would never have an 1850. Come on, step it up. Now I can summon Gravity Cross. Now I Gravity crush, dr drag, drag of. Oh god, you want me to actually do this? You want me to set this? Okay. Now you're teaching me how to do this. Oh, and now you want me to summon this in attack mode, right? Well, what am I doing? Why? So, why are we doing this? I, I honestly don't understand. Oh, nin nin oh god, we're doing a tie. Oh wait, no. Then Kid Dog has 1800 attack? Holy shit! I didn't expect that. I thought he had like 800 for some reason. I don't know. I don't know very many cards from the original Yu-Gi-Oh. I've been watching a lot of Arc 5 recently. Like, I'm, I caught up on it recently and now I've been like 30 weeks in being week to week. That, it's been rough. It's, it's really been rough. But I don't want to tribute in Ken Dog. He's better. Oh god, this game hates me. I swear to God. 
Now you want me to activate the effect. Where I go boom, and it go boom. Oh, I'm summoning Nintendo. Nintendo. Nintendo dog back to the field, so that's why you're making me do that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna activate this so I can, like, crush you in one turn. Yeah, look how cool I am with my chains. Now I just mashed through this. I actually wonder how this controls on, uh, on mouse and keyboard, because actually, I imagine it'd be quite good, right? Here, let's try this. Oh no, that's sad. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm just gonna go with uh, controller. What? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Whoa, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I just have better cards. <laughs> my grandpa owns a game shop, so I get all my best cards from him. Your own game shop? What are you aiming for? Let's go. Okay, maybe I can even get my grandma to show us, show us your super rare card. Little did they know that someone was listening to the conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add to his collection. Oh, what are the chances? I just got achievements. Dude, we're the king of games. Why, of all things to give me as a card reward, why would you give me Brain Crusher? Sure, you do you. The heart of the cards? Oh shit, we get to become a a a them. That that afternoon, Yuki and his friends went to his, their to his grandpa's game shop. Yuki wanted to show his friends his grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, can you show your fr my friends your super rare awesome card? Super rare awesome card? You mean my special card? Hmm. Own a guy, own a guy. Haha! <laughs> How can I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. Here it is, the blue eyes white dragon. So rare, so powerful, I never leave it, let it leave my hands. This card is priceless. There's only four of them in the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Seto Kaipa, the young CEO of the Kaipa Corp. He found, he found the card he was looking for. Name your price for that blue eyes. I'll pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more than you could ever offer. See you now, old fool. And then he kidnapped him. And Grandpa's dead. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson with the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa. How's the old man feeling? Hmm. Kaiba, you sleaze. How, what, what have you done to him? We just had a duel, that's all. With each of this, putting your most valuable card is a prize. My guess playing against a champion like myself was too much stimulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. My name is T. Look at the sweet prize I won. Kaiba held up Grandpa's Blue Eyes White Dragon and ripped it in half. Grandpa's most treasured card. Blue Eyes White Dragon is so powerful and rare, I don't, this will never be used against me. My Blue Eyes, my dra my, my, dra my treasure. Grandpa, hold on. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh, Grandpa? I built this deck, put my soul into these cards. I taught you everything you know, Yugi. Take the, my cards and teach Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. You ready to play, run? Playtime is over, Kaiba. Huh? Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi suddenly becoming a Bishonen. Kaiba, prepare yourself. It's time to duel. We're going with story deck. Because I kind of want to play with through all of this with, like, a smart, like... I just want to use story decks for everything. Especially because I want to play as Yuya. Uh, I love Rock. And I win because of Rock. Rock is heavenly. Are we going with the rules where we start off with five cards in our hand, or are we going with six cards? Please be six. Nope, that's five. Okay. Yeah, we skipped the draw right? phase. Here, let's set this just to get our first turn down, because Kaiba, I imagine, will have quite a few cards that are going to be subpar and better. Subpar plus is what I like to call his deck. God, that's awful. Oh, well, hey, we're getting more achievements. Oh, fuck, I can't not do it. Let's build the ultimate defense. And if he summons a blue eyes, we'll just, we'll just fucking snatch it. Yeah, I want, I want to do Exodia. It's the cannon. I can't not Exodia. It's my job. I actually forgot that he had Exodia at this point. 
Even though it's like the main drawing point of what happens here. And I don't really care to summon anything. Because I'm not going to gain anything for summoning anything. It just kind of happens. I like how Pendulum Zones are here, by the way, and it's not even going to fucking matter for like the longest time. He's not going to get a blue eyes for quite a while, which is going to look luckily going to be a good thing. Oh god, why do you have so many life points? You've now used three of the same card in the first, like, what, two turns? Three turns? It actually seven turns in, holy shit. Shit has just been happening. Oh yeah, and now you take more damage. I have now... Oh god. <laughs> why do you have two battle oxes on your side of the field? You're not going to gain anything from doing that. Oh, now I have two parts of Zodi in my hand. Let's just fuck it in our turn. There's nothing better to do except for end. You will forever win. You will forever be 21. Holy shit. Why ain't that scary? Um. Yeah, that's good. I'm not actually going to attack you because I want Zodia. Because I... I like to be... Very. Oh, but well, I wish that, that's not that bad. You actually didn't gain anything from doing that because you, you, you're an idiot. Set this face down so I can get another part of Exodia. Yeah, this seems like it won't actually be that bad. So I imagine. I uh, see. I have a thing for like I want to be poetic about every single time I win a duel. Like for example, um. If I could win a duel by having a 10,000 attack monster next turn, I'll do that. Like, that, I, I will actively seek that out, and I won't give a shit what happens. Oh, that's really good for this deck, actually. This is gonna be fucking scary. Dude. Heart of the Underdog plus a deck that has, like, only normal monsters? Basically, so, if you want, like, a bullshit deck for Exodia, just have a normal monster deck that has three Heart of the Underdogs and like put, um, let's say, maybe one or two effect monsters that'll let you search the deck for spell cards. And it, it's just, it's dumb. Oh, fuck. Right, that's a threat. Oh my god, there's animations. It looks like shit, I love it. That's fantastic. Uh, well, I'm gonna get the left leg of, or right leg of Exodia. So that'll be fun. So, oh, yep, activate that. Look, I got Gaia. Oh, I'll do it again. Oh, well, aren't you fucked? Uh, we'll just go ahead and set this face down. May as well make like a, a wall of monsters that won't matter. This card from my hand. Well, fuck you, Torik. Torik. Oh, I have to do it again? Bye, Gaia. And guess what? I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna get Exodia and win. I'll be the hero we all deserve in this world. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's sad. Kaiba, I'm so sorry. Why? This deck is bullshit. You don't deserve this. Like, honestly, you don't deserve this. You, you didn't even get fucked this hard inside the actual show. Moss Reborn. Hmm. What can I do with that? What, what fancy things can I do with that? Nothing too fancy. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll just end this. Or end our turn. Not end this. We're not gonna gain anything right now. Ah, fuck Master Steel. Who needs it? I just need Exodia. That's all I care about. Oh no! He's gonna be able to attack full force next turn. Whatever will I do? I'll activate this first of all. Oh, I can do it again? Sweet. I can do it again. Oh my god, you're so romantic. <laughs> so 
So this is very sad. Kai, but you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this bullshit I'm tossing in your direction. I'm so sorry. You, I, I'll pet you after this duel's over if that makes you feel better. You deserve the pets. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna attack you directly. Oh, oh wow. What a hero. Toss that. What's that card that makes you have like infinite cards in your hand? Is that called infinite cards? Because that's, that's a good ass card. And we don't win actually. Wow, I expected us to win right there. Maybe it's just because I'm a cocky son of a gun. Wow. Huh. I'm not gonna attack that with some blue eyes. Because I actually don't want that to happen. Discard that. And discard that. Fuck you, Rude Kaiser. Can I actually be Karibo? Because I don't want to do that right now. I'm just gonna hold B for now. Oh, you expect that to be a spell. Little do you know, I'm actually smart. Holy shit. I actually wonder if these stack. Do Heart of the Underdog stack? Because if so, that's kind of dangerous. Please don't be another... Okay, yeah, thank God. At least we got another cool animation. This, by the way, the folds on his body look kind of scary. Blue Eyes, White Folds. Dude, Blue Eyes is like the strongest deck right now. Like, in, in the current meta. I, I, I don't know, I don't follow the meta very well. But the current, the current, current meta is insane in terms of Blue Eyes. Oh. Well, I guess I'll just discard these two, I mean... Oh, wow, what are the chances? There's no animation, really. God damn it. You play only for power, Kaiba. That's why you lost. If you put your heart into the game, there's nothing you can't do. The results of this duel spread quickly, and the mysterious one-eyed man got news of Yuki's victory. Hmm, it seems Kaiba boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yuki Moto. Oh god, why do we have the ultimate great moth? That's bad. That's real bad. Can I actually buy cards now? I can go to the card shop! Oh... Oh my god... It's based on generation? Cause if so, I'm not gonna fucking buy any of those. Cause... <laughs> fun fact, we actually kinda have a thing... Where, um... The first gen sucks. I'll do the reverse duels after I finish this whole shebang. I'll do all the duels inside a set, then do all the reverse duels, then I'll do all of uh, the next one, and then just do it like that. Because I want to get as much content out of this fucking game as I can. Because this, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! God. After his win against Seto Kaiba, Yuki was puzzled that when he received a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters, inside was a videotape. Yuki inserted the videotape in the VCR and he found out his grandpa was inside the TV. Greetings, little Yuki. I, my name is Maximilian Pegasus and I have some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much I decided to investigate your amazing duel skills personally. Right here, right now, we shall hold a special duel. Suddenly, strange arcane magic froze time. Where no one can move except Yuki. This dark dimension is known as a shadow realm, a mysterious place where incredible monsters reap each other. Because that's the thing. They just, like, the Grave Keeper of Cards just, just destroys. Tell me, Yuki, do you believe there's magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented this game. What if I told you I didn't? Huh? In ancient times, Egyptians used this thing called a shadow game. Powerful pharaohs would hold mystic duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. But instead of cards, they battled with real monsters and real magic. The ma magical forces were so powerful that the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real, and also quite dangerous, Yugi boy! 
You can uh, find you can you are quite you're entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer, so defiant yet helpless, so completely ingrained in the power of your Millennium Puzzle. Yugi looked down at the Millennium Puzzle he wore around his neck. The power of my puzzle. Five thousand years ago, a powerful pharaoh was locked inside the magic of the Shadow Games and seven mythical Millennium items. Seven items? You're saying a puzzle is one of them? Yes, and there are other mystical energies locked in within it. Magic that could change your life forever if you only knew how to unleash it. As the two dueled, they s it seems like Pegasus knew more about every move that Yuki was going to make it as he did. Despite his disadvantage, Yuki mustered all of his skills and nearly won, but Yuki ran out of time when the time limit passed. I'm taking a measure of your talents this day, Yuki Moto. Next time we duel, I shall play for higher stakes. I'm done with your games. Tisk tisk tisk. You presume that I give you a choice in this matter, but I'm not. Fry for also. You possess one of the seven millennium items, the all powerful millennium eye. The millennium eye? Is that why your eye is covered to save budget? That's right, Yugi boy. The budget is being saved right now. I shall show you the true extent of his magic. I, I have found that, given my proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my game. The power of the millennium eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi can only watch in horror. Yugi! Grandpa! We will do again. Do, do again? Duel again, Yugi. However, will you reclaim your grandfather's soul? Yugi had no choice but to compete in Pegasus's Duelist Kingdom tournament so that he could get his grandfather's soul back. At Duelist Kingdom, each duel was given each duelist was given two star chips so they could wager the, the against any other duelist on the island. Whoever got ten star chips would gain entrance to the tournament with the finals where they could complete for their compete for a three million dollars grand prize and a chance to do Pegasus himself. For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist whom had he had a bit of history. While well, riding the boat to the Duelist Kingdom, Weevil took Yugi's precious Exodia cards and threw them in the ocean. When Yugi spun on Weevil on the island, he chased him down after the woods. Welcome, or, oh god. Welcome! Said to the spider the fly, you flew right into my trap. It's time you answered for destroying my Exodia cards, Weevil. Can't you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> Weevil, it's time to find out if you're as good at dueling as you are at running away. Was I running away or cleverly weaving you in my web? It's time to duel, I guess. I feel like we could just make Yugi like the most bored with dual monsters he can be, and I feel like that'd be perfect for him. I just always want to go first in these duels. First is just a better place to be. This is a weird hand. Huh. I'm gonna... What, what can I fuse? What, what do I got here? Gaia the Fierce Knight and Curse of the Dragon. Okay. So I don't actually have either of those cards right now. I have Curse of the Dragon now. I can toss that polymerization, then probably toss Wasteland. Toss his face down. Then toss out Burning Land so I can actually destroy uh, the field spell. Oh, whatever. Um, I'll save Spellbinding Circle in case he does actually get Ultimate Great Moth out. Because it, it's a rare chance and it's very low of a chance. But it's still possible. Oh shit, you're actually gonna do damage to me this turn. Huh. You're actually gonna do a sizable amount of damage today to me. About 2,000? Oh, well, a little bit less than 2,000. That's fine though. I don't really care about that too much. Oh wow, this hand is shit. Well, I'm gonna set this face down, and we're just gonna. Wait out this turn, I guess. I just need Gaia to come into my hand so I can actually. No, oh, I don't want to activate that. I'm gonna wait till like he gets something actually real. Is that real? Fine, we'll say it's real just so we can actually block it out. Cause I don't think he's gonna be able to summon his big bad. Insect Queen is a real issue though. Shit. That's gonna be our main issue here. Insect Queen is a fucking insane. Oh 
Fuck you, Waboku. You're the worst. That card's come, like, back in the meta. And when I used to play on Dueling Network, it was the worst card to run into. I hate that card so much. Howling Insect is bullshit. Why? Oh, right. You can... Oh, my God. Oh, 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 my fuck. Well, um... That's dangerous. Actually, a really good card for an Xyz deck as well. If someone ran that. Like, for that combo he just did right there. But, unfortunately, I can do nothing to defend against Weevil. Am I about to lose to Weevil? Because if so, I'm going to be angry. At myself? At Weevil? Oh god, why? No, why? Uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Come on, Gaia. At least Gaia. Oh my god. I fucked myself. Because now I also have no chance of actually coming back because my burning land is going to kill me. If I just put Wasteland down, I would have been fine. But no, I decided, hey, I just discard that with Graceful Charity because who cares? Who cares about a fuel spell? Blah, 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 blah. I've done 2,500 damage now, so that's cool. But, um... How many turns is Cocoon of Evolution a thing? Oh, God! I have 150 life points. How many How many turns does it take? I do it doesn't say. Huh. Okay. Well... I'm dead. So I may as well go out in style. I'm so tired of these effects already, by the way. I'm gonna go out in style and have him not able to do anything. Oh. Oh my god. He has equal attack to Curse of Dragon. I assume that... Oh my god. I somehow assumed that Curse of Dragon was Summon Skull. For some fucking reason. Because I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I am not smart. I am not a smart man. That smart's real bad. And I'm dead. G fucking G. I lost a Weevil. What can I say? Okay. Skip. Story deck. Oh, it's a tuner. Holy shit. Fabled Mitsuji. Rock. I got fucked. Okay, come on, let me go first. God damn it. I guess I get to attack on the first turn, which won't help me at all. Oh boy. This is a better hand, at least. I used to have something to actually give me leverage here, as opposed to what I had before, which gave me nothing except for suffering and death. If I got Graceful Charity at this point, that'd be perfect, because I could summon Dark Magician and... Could I have done that in the last duel? No, because I didn't get Monster Reborn. Okay, good. That would have been sad. Honestly, Dark Magician is probably better in the graveyard. <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, fuck. This is about to hurt. We're already in a bad way. In comparison to Finding Weevil. Come on. Nope. That's not Graceful Charity. Ah, uh, fuck if I know, man. Sure. I should take less damage if I do this than I'll take if I were to do uh, defense mode. Oh, no, I wouldn't, because I would take like 700 in defense mode. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Oh, fuck yeah. That's not gonna help me. But it's fine. Oh my god. I forgot that that's a thing where you can have multiple fucking field spells on at once now. 
That's weird. That's just straight weird. God. Oh, I haven't played in so long, man. And it shows now. It shows super hard. Um, what can I get to my hand? Uh... Now I can put down Gaia and he'll be quite strong. I need polymerization. This is a good hand for polymerization. I just need it. At least I can protect myself for this turn. Protect myself for this turn, rather. Words are hard. There we go. I'm good for this turn. At least I, I can live with what's good. I'm happy. I can get... That's a rock type. Is that rock and dinosaur? Or they... I should... Yeah, it would only count for one. So it would get up to 1500, and that could kill this, but it can't kill this, so I'm just gonna end my turn. Because if I put it down, it's just gonna die, and what's the point of pushing this swing, swing down just to die? Unless it has, like, an effect that would help. Oh god, this is such a sad hand. Oh my god. That's beautiful. I'm smart. I'm a smart man. But he has man in your bug. That's the major disadvantage right now. We just gotta hope that one of those face downs aren't man in your bug. Because if so, we fucked ourselves. This is the ugly Dark Magician too. It's not even the good one. Sure. You know what? Let's see if we can actually get another thing down. Toss that. Toss that. Okay. We're going to attack the middle one with Dark Magician first. How's the animation? He shoots. He scores. We go, we go and attack the face down with that. Please don't be mad at your bug. Howling insect is just as bad. At least I didn't kill it. If I killed it, it would have been a lot worse of a situation than if I didn't kill it. So, good good on me. But he's, he's doing it anyway. Because it doesn't matter. He's just, he's just a smart guy. What? How? Oh, he attacked with it. God damn it. I'm going to wait. That would be 1500. This is 17, so I won't actually matter. I'm just gonna. I'm going to wait. The sword of swords of revealing light is gone. I'm not going to summon our good pal Gaia yet, because just in case he does have many of your bug, I don't want him to be able to destroy multiple things. That would be a game changer for me. This. No, I thought I had 1500. It, I'm, I'm done. Please don't flip summon. Okay, thank the Lord. I'm good. I'm, I'm safe. Oh my God. You are a beautiful, beautiful man. If you had butt cheeks, I would smoosh them. You are a beautiful, beautiful man. And now he's gonna he's gonna have some fun by attacking. He's gonna be like, I can destroy that beaver warrior, no problem. It's fuck time. Nope, just okay, you, you declared battle, huh? Mirror force! You go boom! Everything go boom. We also have potential of that being mad in your bugs, so hopefully this ain't gonna happen. Cause if that happens, that's gonna be bad. You know what we gonna do? You know what we, you know what we gonna fucking do right now? Unicorn horn. Beaver warrior, you're a hero. You now have a horn of a unicorn. You're very strong. Stop asking me to spell binding circle. I don't care about it. It's time to go boom again. 
We go shoot, we go boom. Alright, now we go shoot, we go boom. Please don't be howling insect. That's the one thing I- Oh, fuck. I expected little and I got what I wanted. What does this do? Holy shit. Okay, this will be fun. At least he doesn't have a petite moth to actually do anything with right now, so it's fine. We're good. Alright. We're doing this. Everyone gets crushed. Everyone. Everything on the field. Done. Destroyed. We gon' we gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna try to end it this turn. And if we can do it, who fucking knows? Coalesce. What a good achievement name. Alright, and then I'll go ahead and tribute the amount of the graveyard. In favor of Rude Kaiser. Alright, so we're gonna attack with Dark Magician on you. And then we go boom, he go shoot, he go boom. We good. Alright, then we go on attack with Rude Kaiser. Please don't be what I expect you to be. We're good. We're not gonna be able to end of this turn, because we lack the damage. But goddamn, are we not getting close? See? Now you don't fuck with me! Weevil, you, you, you. As long as I don't get a shit hand, it is easy. In fact, I could just wait you out right now. I wouldn't even need to play your game where you destroy my bullshit. But I'm gonna play your game anyway, because I actually want to just beat this. So, get fucked. Gaia attack. Rude Kaiser is actually powered up by your forest, so that's kind of cool. It's over! Kata! No! Im no, impossible! My moths are unbeatable! Yep. Nice. I really don't want to play the opposite the reverse thing of that one. We've only played three so far? It feels like so much more and how so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And that's DLC. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we have 29 duels to go through. This is going to be a hell of a time. I'm done for now, but I'll see you guys tomorrow for a hell of a lot of fun.